Hey internet, Eric here again. Um, I'm in my basement right now, it's cold as balls out, so I'm gonna keep this vlog nice and short because I don't wanna be down here. I mean, I got my fucking coat on, it's so cold. Um, a couple things to really talk about. Um, I'm continually, I'm still watching this um, Making a Murderer, and I got one episode left, and um, I'm not really gonna discuss it right now until I finish the final episode, but goddamn. Um, I mean, it's all over Facebook at least, um, and there's some stuff on the news, you know, just because of this has become so popular, and just seriously, it's it's really true what people say. If you want to watch a documentary that will make you scream at your TV so much, um, it's true. I've been screaming nonstop at my TV about, you know, these holy shit moments that have happened in this whole court case with Stephen Avery and his um, his young nephew. But enough of that. Um, I finally finished Ash vs. Evil Dead, and I am a huge, huge Bruce Campbell fan to begin with, and I grew up watching, you know, the Evil Dead movies, mainly Army of Darkness, I was a big fan of Army of Darkness, I, you know, I got the little figures, um, that was what I was introduced, how I was introduced to the Evil Dead series was through Army of Darkness, and that's how I was introduced to Bruce Campbell. And I find, you know, this whole Ash vs. Evil Dead TV series came out as a, you know, a continuation of Ash's character versus the Deadites. And after finishing uh, the final episode the other day, what a fantastic fucking show. Um, <clears throat> uh, I love um, Bruce Campbell. He's, he's, he's himself. He's Ash. He's still that likable asshole. Um, I do enjoy a lot of the homages to at least the first two films with the gore factor, the slapstick. Um, um, Lucy Lawless, god damn, how sexy is that woman? Even when she, especially when she's, you know, chopping heads off of demons. Um, I love, you know, his sidekick Pedro, and I can't think of the other, the, the Italian chick's name. Um, yeah, so much fucking fun. I'm glad it signed up for a, for a second season, um, and I'll just say this, the way the series ended, like the final episode, it was like straight out of a movie. The action was just non-stop and top-notch. Fucking, fucking love it. Um, even though I, I, I'm watching this streaming it on TV, I think I'll actually buy the, um, the DVD set of it when it comes out, because I like it, that I love it that much. It, it's just perfect. Um... Other thing I was just going to talk about briefly was we've had some deaths in um, in the in the movie genre and the music genre lately. Um, it was it was around Christmas, I believe, Christmas or New Year's. We sadly we lost Lemmy Kilmister. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Lead singer Motorhead, and he was a huge, huge icon in. Um, the genre of heavy metal and rock. Um, just being the front man for Motorhead. But not just that. I mean, he's done so many, you know, movies and guest stars. I mean, he's he performed at WrestleMania two or three times. Um, huge, huge loss. Huge following. Um, but sadly, after we lost Lemmy, <clears throat> we lost, in my opinion, someone bigger in uh, in the genre because... I had to explain to my wife who Lemmy was, and, you know, and she was like, oh, the guy who, you know, he's in that band that sung Ace of Spades. Yeah. Well, we recently lost David Bowie, and with David Bowie, um, a lot of people are making it the equivalent of, like, losing John Lennon again, because David Bowie just, he... He's been singing since the 60s, and he's just been so influential... And such a big part of music ever since then. And, um, but he's also done movies, you know, not just Labyrinth, you know, the, the Jim Henson movie Labyrinth. Um, but he's, I guess he's done so many more acting roles. Um, he's, I guess, I believe my friend at work told me he's the one that discovered Stevie Ray Vaughan. I mean, who can say that they discovered Stevie Ray Vaughan? You know, one of the essential blues players, you know, rhythm and blues players, um, but yeah, and that's that's what I mean. Um, you might not know anything about music. Um, losing Lemmy was losing an icon 
for the metal and, and the, the rock genre. Losing David Bowie was just losing an icon in, you know, in pop culture to, you know, all around. And it's very sad, very tragic. Um, from what I heard, um, he knew it was coming. I mean, he, I guess he's had cancer for 18 months, at least. Um, and his final album came out, I believe, on his 69th birthday. And he died two two days later. But from what I've heard, it, you know, he knew it was coming as like his way to say goodbye to the fans. And I haven't listened to any of it yet, but I guess a lot of the songs have to deal with like the afterlife and saying goodbye. And I guess like I haven't watched it yet, but I guess the music video for Lazarus, or Lazarus is um him in a hospital bed and floating up to heaven or something like that. I I'll definitely have to watch it. Um, but not just um in the music you know field have we lost some people but in the horror genre field um we lost the other day angus scrim and he is he was the tall man in the phantasm series and i'm not gonna lie i haven't seen any of the phantasm um uh series uh of movies and they've always been on my list and you know because you know it's a huge huge series the tall man was a was a huge character in the horror genre but you know and I, I definitely have a reason to watch it now. So it's sad that we lost Angus. But then 2015, last year, was very tough on uh, the horror genre. Especially because last year we lost Betsy Palmer. You know, she was Mrs. Voorhees from the original Friday the 13th. We lost Gunnar Hansen, the original um, Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I'll show you, I got a couple of his autographs that, you know... Here, let me see. I can't fucking do this. There you go. One thing, one of the gunner. Can you see the autograph? Right there. And I have one more. Which I gotta step over a bunch of shit to see. To show you. But, and it's a little dark because I don't have a light down in this area. But another one. Of gunner. With grandpa. And... Gunner recently returned to the Texas Chainsaw franchise with the Texas Chainsaw TV. He was in it for a brief cameo, maybe like two minutes. But um, sadly, we lost him. We lost Christopher Lee, you know, and he, he just transcended horror. But he, you know, in the horror genre, he was um, Dracula and Frankenstein and all those Hammer films. And then sadly, we lost um, Wes Craven. You know, the, the man who created Freddy Krueger, the man behind so many horror um, icons, behind Shocker, behind the Scream series. Um, God, I just, off the top of my head, there's just the, the, the Swamp Thing, so many things. Deadly Friend, that piece of crap, but it's 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 fun piece of crap. Um, Red Eye, if you've ever seen Red Eye, oh my God. Serpent and the Rainbow, the Hills Have Eyes. The, what this man did to the horror genre just... He's one of the icons behind the, the behind the scenes. He's you know he's like um, John Carpenter, or he would be Stephen King, you know something like that. So sadly we lost him too. So 2016 not a st uh, great start for music or horror movies. So hopefully we don't lose any more. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, they haven't really been doing anything. God, I gotta shave. This is fucking nasty. Anyways, um, that's it. That's all I got to say. I wanted to praise uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead so much. Go out and check out that series. Try to binge watch it if you can because there's 12 episodes, I think. The first one is roughly an hour long and then everything else is roughly 25 to 30 minutes long. You can binge watch that fucking thing in a night if needed or within two days. And I highly, highly recommend it. Um, and I've heard no... No negative on this at all, so go check that out. Um, like I said, making a murderer. God damn. I, I still hate my sister and my friend for getting me addicted to this and making me so mad. But, excuse me, it is what it is. And um, like I said, whole, uh, sad situation losing those people. Um, a lot of influences, a lot of love, a lot of fans, and hopefully it doesn't keep going. So, um, in closing, I'll have a nice day. I'm going to go fucking upstairs and try to warm up because, like I said, it's cold as balls down here. And 
it's they're mine are probably like right up inside by my navel right now just trying to keep warm so enjoy that you know that image that's now probably in your head and take care